We have a pescador, a fisherman, uh, with a raincoat made of, I think, nipa leaves, a conch, called chanchui, and a salad pot. And then we have a cargador, who is barefooted. The next frame are kafres, kafirs, uh, originally from Africa. And we have a group of four there, three with ba uh, bells around their legs, and then the fourth one with a bow. And, uh, uh, we have here somebody from a, a canary, Canada, uh, from India, Latka, and a lascar, okay, darker. And here we have mestizos. This would be uh, the mix of Spanish and Filipino. And uh, you know, this year he, he has a cape. Uh, the woman is, has a, a kind of a necklace of tambourine, I believe. Uh, and you have here a Mardita, uh, again from. Uh, let me check. That's one thing. I'm not reading my text anymore. Uh, Mardik, the Mardika is, uh, I think, also from in India. Uh, Mark, uh, sorry, Mardik, Mardika is uh, so. In, uh, sorry, it's in from the Moluccas, and when the Spanish forces, according. Uh, left the Moluccas, these Mardicans uh, migrated to Maragondon and to Ternate Cavite because Ternate is originally in the Moluccas, so the people from the Ternate and Moluccas made another Ternate in Cavite. And uh, the Japanese there, well, uh, there was uh, already a big community of Japanese in class like Dilao. We have the Plaza de Lao, and he is he has a kind of a samurai samurai sword. Uh, here, uh, Murillo Velarde uh, was very critical of the Spaniards, and and here I think you can glean a bit of the critique here because this uh, this Espanol with the payo auto with the high umbrella, uh, he's really dressed in the Louis. 14th or 15th style with cuffs, lace, etc. And he has a, a servant, Pinapayunan uh, Siya. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And then you have a negro. A negro, according to Murillo, is uh, is not as dark as the Indio. So it's brown in color. That would be his, his negro. Creole. is a Creole. And, uh, and then you have two uh, indios there, peleando gallos. They're exciting, they're roosters. So they're uh, already very, very. And then the aitas there, the cimarrones del monte, or the, the savages of the mountains. So here, uh, he did, Murillo Velarde did not like this uh, tyrannic, you know, pet, uh, I suppose this. Spaniards who are occupying offices, and so I think it comes out here in this frames. Uh, here you have uh, either an Armenian, Armeno, or Persian, if not sure. Chipando Tabaco, he's actually smoking from a water pipe. And there's a Mongol from India, again, Malabar, their turban, and the other one is not only turban but wearing earrings large earrings, and they are wearing pointed shoes which curl up, upward. Now here we have a street scene, and uh, we have an angel, a barefooted angel from Lambon. Lambon would be, I think, uh, like a shawl which is carrying on his arm there. And then India on Kobiha, it's the, the bay which is flowing up to the ground, and she has a scapular. Uh, they are para ir a la iglesia, they're going to church. Okay? And 
they are met by a female vendor who is uh, wearing a chinina uh, itapis and she's selling guayabas okay, in uh, carrying it on her head and then uh, there, is, there are two boys here one, one is, uh, is wearing a bahag a g-string and he's carrying um, a crab a crab and the other boy I think, who's, who's, I think he's almost naked he's naked he's wearing, he's carrying a bamboo uh, which is supposed to hold either wine or milk and then you have a bisaya bisaya with a local uh, dagger there called balagao or ba balagao uh, and then in the, in the background you have a somebody playing either a guitar or a mandolin Indios also, Indios are the Filipinos of course and Bailando El Comitam uh, it's like a, a dance uh, where they sort of uh, make certain movements and they try to uh, pretend uh, and then it, it's uh, like they make jokes on one another Uh, you have there, by the way, the, the signature of Nico Nicolas de la Cruz Bagay. Okay. Here's another outdoor scene, uh, Cocodri Cocodillo. And it says that uh, the country is full of them. That's still true, even in Congress. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the Crocodillos. And uh, you have the culebra on the sawa there, which has already tied its tail around the pig and around the branch for traction. Uh, you have a farmer there, who's, I think, wearing a bahag with a wooden claw pulled by a carabao. Another carabao there pulling a, a sled. And you have uh, Bahai Kubo and a woman pounding rice on a Luzon because Murillo Velarde interprets Luzon as coming from the mortar uh, Luzon, Luzon. Uh, well, if others disagree, they say the Chinese, it comes from the Chinese Luzon but it could also be Luzon and then uh, apparently the there is a putting a white uh, putting uwak. Yeah. And maybe it's fascinating. It fascinated the, the drawer to put it. And this is Guam. Because uh, Marianas, uh, usually it's back also with the Philippines. Okay. That's why Tony uh, Sol was. Well, there, it's uh, with two Spanish ships and two jumps. Uh, we have here uh, in um, Manila, uh, the walled city, Manila Murada, and uh, you have the Rio de Pasi. There's only one bridge, the Puente de España, which is going towards the Bumbaya, and uh, you have the I think this Bian, you have the Pagian, uh, you have the Pagian, you have uh, on the side Binondo, Santa Cruz, Chiapo. And you notice that uh, the sea is already here. So a lot of land has been reclaimed. Here we have uh, another outdoor scene. You have uh, 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 first a laborer here cutting bamboo and uh, it says there that our bamboos here are bigger than many species of bamboos uh, you have uh, the, the flora, the trees, papaya and namka, just fruit okay. uh, you have the coconut there with a, I think a monkey climbing up you have somebody on a cow, I believe, 